So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this old medieval weapon in the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial first of all i will delete everything pressing a then i will just delete it and after that i will add one reference image for adding the reference image i will go to my front view then I'm, and after that i will press the shift a then i will just go to my image section and from here i will just add one background image then i'm just going to locate my image from here so from here i'm just going to add one image so this is our reference image so first of all we'll create this wooden part then after that we'll create this spiky ball and then we'll create this chain okay so but before doing anything i just want to enable my uh, shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing on the left hand side you can see easily now so now i will add one cylinder here pressing the shift a then i will just go to my mesh section and from here i will add one cylinder then i'm just going to scale this something like that and now i'm just going to match this cylinder according to our uh, reference okay i'm just want to keep it here and i'm going to scale a little bit then i'm just going to enable my um, x-ray view from here then i'm just going to scale it something like that okay so try to match this uh, cylinder according to our reference then i'm just going to edit mode of the cylinder and i will select this top part of this cylinder and then i'm just going to extrude it pressing the e and z something like that okay and now i'm just going to scale it something like that and same thing i will do again e and z here you can see then i'm just going to scale it so i'm just going to repeat this process again again till it will not reach here so i'm just going to quick this process so after reaching here i will just press the e then i will just going to extrude it and then i will just do scale something like that then i'm just going to again one more time extrude and then i will just press the z so it will look like this okay so i'm just going to match this according to our reference then i'm just going to extrude again and same thing i will do extrude it then i will do again extrude extrude it and scale it and same thing i will repeat one more time something like that okay so it will look like this so we'll complete this uh, bottom part process as well so i will just select this bottom face and then i'm just going to extrude it one more time something like that then i will do again yeah so here you can see our wooden part is complete then after that i will just create uh, this part basically so for creating this part i will use one torus so i will just add one torus from my mesh section and then i'm just going to change uh, a line as a view so it will automatically uh, faces towards me okay then i will just change this uh, major segment to the 32 and i will decrease this minor to the 6 so it will look like this okay then after that i just want to uh, align this torus according to our reference so i'm just going to keep it here something like that okay then i'm just going to scale it a little bit and keep it here okay then after that i will just go to edit mode of this torus and going to select some faces from here and after selecting the all faces i just want to extrude one more time and then i will just press the z okay and after that i am just going to scale this something like that so it will become a straight then i'm just going to press the zero okay and after that i'm just going to put it down something like that so it will look like this okay then after that i will create this uh, spiky ball so for creating this spiky ball i will add one uh, cube here okay and after that i will add one subdivision surface modifier pressing the control 2 so it will look like this and after that i'm just going to increase one level here and then i'm just going to apply this modifier okay and make sure you add this smooth as well then you can just keep it here yeah you can just match this spare according to our reference yeah it will look like this yeah okay after that i will add one cone here and then i'm just want to decrease the depth little bit i will decrease the radius as well okay i just want to decrease the depth one more time and radius as well so that's look fine to me okay i will just keep it here 
and after that go to the edit mode of this cube and then i'm just going to select some faces where you want to add the spikes so i'm just going to i'm just going to select some faces here some random faces so i'm just going to skip this process so here i have selected some random faces something like that here you can see and after that i'm just going to exit this uh, edit mode okay after that i will uh, press the n and go to my edit section and from here i will use uh, this tissue modifier okay this is the default modifier of the blender if you don't found this tissue here so you have to just go to the edit preference and from here you have to just search the tissue so you will see something like that you have to just check from here and make sure you save preference as well okay after that you will see this add on here and what you have to do exactly you have, you have to select your cone then you have to select this uh, cube here and you have to just uh, click this tessellate and when you click this tessellate you will see some settings so what do you have to do you have to just click this advanced settings and here you have to just click the on selected faces only okay so what will happen exactly so these cone will appear only where we have select the faces and after that you have just click the okay so here you can see it will look like this and now from here we can just uh, here you can see and now from here we can just decrease the little bit size of these spikes yeah that's look fine to oh shit here you can see that look fine to me okay and after that i'm just going to again here okay then i'm just going to make this chain so for making this chain i will uh, add again one torus okay then i will just change uh, a line as a view and here i will set these settings again by default 40 and 8 48 and 12 yeah okay then i'm just going to edit mode of this uh, torus and here i'm just going to enable my x-ray mode then I'm just going to select these vertices here and deselect this, this one as well. Then I'm just going to stretch it something like that. So here you can see it will look like this. Okay. And then I'm just going to scale it something like that. And make sure you just set the origin as a center. Okay. And after that you have to just scale it one more time. And keep it here then do a little bit scale one more time and then i'm just going to duplicate this pressing the shift d then i'm just going to set the angle here and then i'm just going to rotate it something like that okay and after that i will just uh, select the both chain then i will just going to do ctrl j the join the mesh and then i will set origin as a geometry okay but there is one problem we have to just rotate it something like that and then we have to just keep it a little bit here now that's look fine to me okay then after that what i will do i'm just going to uh, add uh, array modifier on it duplicate this chain okay so for that i will just change the axis to the y and then i'm just going to decrease a little bit value yeah that's look fine to me okay then after that what i will do i'm just going to add one curve here from here then i'm just going to change a line as a view and i'm just going to rotate it something like that and keep it here okay so now i'm just going to set this curve according to our reference okay here you can see i just saw i'm just going to uh, align this curve according to our reference something like that So after complete this process make sure you select all your curve vertices then you will just do right click and here you will see the subdivide make sure you subdivide at once okay and after that you have to just select your chain then you have to just go to your modify section and from here you have to just add one curve modifier and from here you have to just select this curve object as a bezier and from here you have to just select your curve object as a bezier curve so here you can see it will look like this so first of all you just change this deform axis to minus x and now from here you can just increase the count so that chain will be automatically created according to our uh, curve okay and something like that okay and then we'll just add some um, 
smoothness in this wooden part so for adding the smoothness i will just uh, uh, select the both part then i'm just going to hide everything except this both part and then i'm just going to add the one subdivision modifier on it and then i will just add some supporting edge here something like that and here as well and here as well okay and here i will add one smooth so it will look like this and same thing i will add in this part as well so first of all i just want to hide this thing and adding one supporting edge here something like that that look fine to me and then i'm just going to shade this mode so it will look like this okay so after that i'm just want to unhide everything and here you can see we can see some stiffness here so how we can resolve this problem so for that we have to just select this cylinder and i'm just going to edit mode and from here i'm just want to select this face and then i'm just going to do bevel something like that so here you can see we resolve this problem and same thing we'll do with this part as well I'm going to select this edge then i'm just going to bevel it will look like this okay so now i'm just going to unhide this again so here you can see it will look like this so after complete your all process you can just add the texture on your model and after adding the texture it will look like this if i will switch my viewport shading mode so here you can see it will look like this so that's how you can create this old medieval uh, weapon in the blender with the help of some basic tools okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys